Oh shit. Back at it. You already know. When aren't we doing this? Yo, what is up you guys? Today we are in Massachusetts in this place called Hockamock Swamp. This place is notoriously haunted because it is an Indian burial ground. There was wars here and the Indians were buried here. There's just like all these just different legends of Bigfoot, UFOs being spotted here back in like the 1970s. And uh, it's just kind of like an all around creepy place. Right now we're in the forest, we just started the hike. Uh, as you might be able to hear above us, there's these power lines that have this ominous ringing to them. It's just the electricity going through, but it just kind of makes it even more creepy. Uh, this place is known to have these these orbs, uh, Josh has told me, that you see. He's been here before. This is my first time actually coming here to Hockamock Swamp in Massachusetts. And Massachusetts is just kind of known for its ghosts and hauntings. I guess there's these orbs that kind of like hang around and float through the, f float through the air. They're just kind of creepy. And there's these things known as pook wedgies, which are like these three foot little monsters supposedly, like gremlins that uh, people have been known to see. We're gonna see what happens tonight. Um, everyone's always telling me to like come prepared, so I came prepared tonight. I have this full on police baton right here, and you know, we're not getting killed tonight. I'm protecting all of us, so. Uh, Thanks man. We're gonna get started. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, don't worry. Watch this. Let's see if I can close it. To close this thing, you have to slam it into the ground. Okay, we're good. Alright, I think we're safe for now. I've been here a lot. Whoa! <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. High Beam. <laughs> Trying to stay safe out here. So how many times have you been here? Prob dude, honestly like I want to say six to like nine times around then like and how I'm many times has something happened more than half more so there was twice or two or three times I came here and nothing happened and I, I wanted stuff to happen but one of the times I came with was a huge group it's just us three here tonight so and it's really cold spooky so what we just follow this path and then what happens yeah so for about like a point eight miles in is when like it opens up and we take a sharp left okay yeah and then right. we're yeah we're in it until then Tons of birds and other animals are just living inside. Like, it's, it's almost sometimes like, like a hate like, like, Whoa, awesome. listen to that. Is that the, just the, the grass blowing? Yeah, from all the birds that are I think living in them. It's weird because. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Into a ditch, and I just laid straight on the ground. That was kind of that was kind of scary. Did you record that? Yeah. You that all on camera? Yeah. <laughs> did you? No. Dude, that was kind of scared. I was Dude. like, Yo, if I'm dying, I'm filming this. If they're coming back, they come back. Are they coming back? You can hear him. Man, my heart was racing. I don't know why, it's just people on quads, but... I was by myself. Now, see the thing is, there's people on quads, but man, you don't know what the heck they're doing inside they the woods at night. The reason that we, uh, we were hiding from these guys is because Josh has been here multiple times before, and I guess, well, John said one time when he was here, these guys were in cars and like looking for him and like chasing him out of this place. Yeah, yeah, so here's what happened. I wasn't here for it. But what happened was, last time they came here, they were with a group of... <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that was a big ass thump. Anyways. Yeah. Should hurry? Should so hurry? the reason we're hiding right. from these quads is yeah, because... Yeah. yeah, so there's people here that's apparently like, whatever, but apparently a lot of satanic ritual crap goes on at night here. Like highly. 
and like anytime you see someone here at night they're always up to no good so we just seen people two quads like come us. by and we freaked out because before our other friends came here and they got chased out like to the point where they were looking for them through through the woods like like just pause looking for them stopping their cars looking at each section and and after they couldn't find it because they ran they ran out like they were trying to chase them out and they were like yeah. saying stuff to them trying to find them dude it was freaky as hell like i don't know what they would have did to them creepy. yeah so i'm just glad we're out here and we're still alive yeah because <laughs> i mean i got a police baton but these these guys with like guns out here and like <laughs> yeah you know yeah you can't speeding. i don't think my police baton can stop bullets <laughs> <laughs> so they said that, i also read that once like yeah. the boy was here and then he got lost for days and when he came back out he had no memory of what happened what well, yeah right. seriously it's on it's Whatever. on the website we keep getting startled because when we flash our lights at these bushes, all the birds are like being awoken and they they just start moving and like scare us because they're like two feet away from us. Because it's an Indian burial ground, Josh, you've yeah. heard drums before? Yeah, so one time, uh, it was my first, first time ever coming here and we heard drums, coyotes or wolves going off. Like it was insane when I first came here. Just, just the wildlife is freaky here, but yeah, that was la la that was like two, three years ago when I came here. This was like right when I was starting to do YouTube, but we didn't even have cameras. Couldn't even afford it. Right now, we're currently on our way to what isn't, we're not even on the trail yet. We have to take a turn onto this spooky haunted trail, which is most likely where all the stuff happens. We're making our way there, um, keeping an eye out for other people out here. It's almost Halloween, so I could assume more and more people would want to come out here as well. Cause it's kind of like the cool thing to do around Halloween is go ghost hunting. So, uh, gotta keep an eye out for even more people. This but, is the path right here, the left. Yeah, this is the real path where, where crap happens and stuff goes down. But a uh, few things have changed. Like, I don't know why these all oh, people are having fires here. Looks like someone was doing donuts in the middle. Yeah, yeah, fires for sure. Hopefully, Slender's not here. Wait, what? Well, you see a reflection? There's something in there. It's, been it's running at us. Can you get that? Oh! It's an animal. Oh. It's its eyes. Seriously? Oh. Yeah. I just thought it was a fox. Yeah, the reflection. You got me scared. You can see it though, right? <laughs> it's a good thing I have the super flashlight. Like yeah. Video. Look, look, look. It's right there. Oh my god. Put it down more? It's just, a, it's just, oh man. Oh my god. We should get closer. Yeah, we can get closer to that. That's Let's get closer. Oh, it's coming at us. That's okay. You're like, it's running right for us. <laughs> you scared me. My heart was freaking beating. Dude, it was scary though. Cause I didn't see anything. Yeah, you just seen the eyes. I didn't see anything. Oh, you didn't see anything. And, and like you're like, light. I was yeah. like fixing my light, and you're like, it's running for us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, what the fuck is that? But you have to admit, because in, uh, when I'm looking, I see the reflection of, yeah. of the sun. I'm I see the reflection <laughs> of a light. I saw a reflection. You saw the sun. He's coming back. He doesn't know if he wants to eat us or not. So whip it out. <laughs> yeah, see, you're good. You'll be in charge of it, okay? Yeah, that was like a flick of a wrist. Like I felt my. But wrist you can't like you can't be the first one to run away if you have the baton. Okay. You got this. I'm a vegetarian. I love animals, but shit. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. <laughs> dinner tonight. <laughs> Everything's dead here. Seriously, how far down it goes? Check this out right here. As far as like the old river. Is this where they dump the bodies? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> the deal with this place, with where we are right so now. We're in the center of like the spooky trail and mm -hmm. This is like where we would play like the quiet game and we kind of listen to see if we hear stuff. That's when I heard the drums the first time I came here. So this is where stuff usually happens? Literally, yeah, but usually it happens before we get here because we always get chased out. Because people are, or like lights would always, orbs would be like right here. And we're from a distance, so we would hear it and see it from the back. Right. And they would always come at us, you know? So we're actually, we made it this time. Because we're in a, we're in a well-prepared team right now. We got our baton, our flashlights and everything. Yeah. It's a good sign. They didn't want to mess with us this time. I don't think I could ever be a person to party in a forest. <laughs> yeah, I would never party here. It's just like way too creepy. Yeah, this place always creeps me out. So now we're in the center of this place. There's, it doesn't appear to be anything. Give it a couple more minutes, see if anything shows up. If not, 
don't know. Let's shut off the lights and see if like stuff would happen. All right. Let me find the button. Don't leave me. I got you. <laughs> it's quiet and dark. Recording now in case it happens again. Yeah, that was a good thing. That's the second time. It sounds like. A giant acorn like fell from the tree right next to us. Like we we've been literally walking like maybe a hundred steps and something dropped next to us and then dropped next to us. Yeah, I'm gonna have to with you. God, my heart keeps stopping. See? That's, dude, that's literally what just happened. How did that happen? Whatever we're doing, we're walking, and something keeps dropping next to us. It's like the birds, and you're letting it off. You think it's a light? Yeah. Jesus. You, can, you can't hear the giant acorns dropping? Man. Maybe it's ghost droppings. <laughs> They're freaking rock hard. Oh! That was like, you gotta watch out. These things are like about to hit me in the head. I heard that one. That's heavy. That was right next to you. Guys. That was that was like a foot away from my head. I don't even know what it is that's dropping. That one like hit a log or something. It's almost like the Indians throwing rocks at us. I know, right? To get us out of here. Like, there's not even. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, we're getting out of here. And we were back at Josh's house. Uh, that was a little, that was a little spookier than, I mean, it's not as spooky as you have been in the past. Yeah, I'm disappointed, but, but at the same time, it's always something. The first though. time, it was the first time me being there, like yeah. the fox. You know, we discovered it was a fox, and the quad was kind of weird at the same time, yeah. and the rocks was were so weird as well. But all of it but, equals uh, an epic. <laughs> all adventure. in all, it was a cool adventure, yeah. I guess. At midnight what? in the middle of the forest. You know what forest. we could do, right? You know, what? Phase Rugs got his Phase Rug tunnel, and he made it. Dude, let's make this something epic. This is just, you know what? This is ours, yo. This is our woods. The Explorer. Forest. Explorers Forest. Oh, that yeah. sounds good. <laughs> well, oh, that, that is it for fun. today. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow.